So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As you can see, this car's got plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. And on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 8,951. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So we have a digital readout for the speedometer, for example. Uh, we've also then got various bits of trip computer information and other menus available too. So vehicle systems, service information, and user settings. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a second ago are just here. We have cruise control and speed limiter over there as well. And then on the left-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair up the phone, and that is done over on the central uh, stereo area just here. Hit the phone button and then use the numbers that correspond with what it is you're doing up on the screen, which we're going to cancel at the moment. When it comes to music, we have the radio, of course, FM, AM and DAB radio available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do hit that button. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can connect up an auxiliary device and a USB device as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And we have the main volume for the stereo over on the left hand side just here. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You can increase and decrease the fan speed and determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on. Same button again to turn it off. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can hear it doing that now. You can override that whenever you want and put it back on your own setting here as well. We also have a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Underneath that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So you can turn off the parking sensors, you can turn off the stop and start, and then these last two up here will turn off the downhill brake control um, and that green, uh, or turn it on, that green logo on the right hand side shows you you've done that. Uh, and you can then change the driving setup from normal to sports. So that will that will affect the firmness of the uh, steering. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.